What's up guys, it's T Lamar, back with you with another video. Um, this might be two videos in one, an update, basically like an update on what's going to be going on on my channel. And I have a H&M zipper pant review for you, you know, because a brother, a brother ate H&M now, so I picked up some pants. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So with these pants, they are the beige colorway because they call khaki like military green now. Military green is considered khaki now for some reason. I have no idea why, but it is. So with these pants, they're like scrunchy at the bottom. Basically to add, I guess, like a stacking sort of like effect. Kind of like on like bomber sleeves, it looks like a little bit. There's some paneling right here. Hope you guys can see that. And uh, for the, the most important part, actually, let me explain this. The reason why I think these pants are so popular is because they kind of like resemble like the fog zipper pant, basically, like, and it's kind of trendy too. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like a cheap, like off, like a cheap version of like the fog pants. From fear of God, so yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of buzz around these pants, man. A lot of hype. I just got my hands on them, so here's the the the, the famous zipper right here, and these are like my favorite feature of the pants because you can like fold them like over your shoe, basically, and it just creates a really dope look. And for the upper part, there's a there's a drop. A drop to the crotch. It's really, it's three, really three, cool. Three, Styling. Kings, um, kings, kings, back pocket has like this little symbol, embellished emblem on it. Decent drawstrings, you know. And they're just overall very comfortable. Like these are some very comfortable pants. And uh, yeah. Review for these. Oh, oh, honestly, also. They come in a bunch of different colors. There's black, green, military green, which is khaki, if you want to be correct with it, which is not correct at all. And beige. I think there's another color. I think it might be gray. Also, we have um, like this scrunch like and like these cotton um, joggers. Had the same scrunch styling on the lower leg. And so, yeah, they got a really nice taper. Um, as you can see, it's like kind of like roomy in the thigh. It tapers all the way down to the ankle. Very nice taper. Super comfortable. Um, and yeah, I paid close to $23 for these. They're originally like $29.99, but you know, I get a discount because I'm an employee. On to the second part of the video. Got some great news for you guys. Um, your boy got a whip. A whip. Now, let me tell you how this, this came about. Um, I went to the auction, right, with my uncle and his friend. And we basically like stood out there in the cold, bro. It was freezing, like a reason, bro. If you know anything about Michigan weather, it's nothing to be messed with. Like, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Um, so basically, we up there, we looking around at the cars, and we come to an area at the auction. This was like basically the previewing to let you see all the cars that was going to be uh, going towards the auction. There was, of course, some cars that weren't, but they had them all lined up down the lot. And we go, and we're looking at different cars, right? And they give us a list of all the cars. And we come across a grand pre section where it's like a bunch of like and we saw it they had like at least three or four grand prix like next to each other lined up and one stood out to me it was this black one right black with uh these rims on it bro it had rims on it these black and silver rims bro like low profile like it was it was all good it was all good had like a hundred and forty thousand miles on it and Engine sound nice, everything, bruh. So we saw another red one too. 
that one was also pretty clean. That was a 2006. The one I was looking at was an 04. And we get to the auction, right? Um, they having the cars pass through, people buying them. I'm like, they like, uh, you ain't gonna bid on nothing? Like, no, nah, I'm gonna wait for this Grand Prix. I'm gonna wait. I ain't gonna try and bid on nothing until I see that Grand Prix. Because I, like I like to be focused on one thing. Like, I don't like to spread all, like, my focus out on different things. I like to focus on one thing at a time. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me just wait for this Grand Prix. And this is turning a little bit into a story time. Like, I never thought I'd be doing story time videos, but that's what it's turning into. So I'm waiting, waiting. This dude, it's this one, it was this one dude there that kept throwing his hand up to bid on every single car, basically, bruh. Then when he like messes up and builds in this garbage van that passes through, this dude throws his hand up. He's like, huh, 200. And then like, then they point at him like, yup, this man got it right here. And as soon as the van pulls off, it starts smoking in the back. <laughs> and this dude like, nah, man, nah, I don't want it no more. He's like, you bought it, man, that's yours. <laughs> That joke was so funny, man. Then he was looking dumb. So then we get finally Grand Prix come around. And I was like, they're like, you sure you're not gonna bid, man? I'm like, no, nah, man, wait till the Grand Prix, right? I told him that again. And they was like, look, look, wait, I'm gonna let them spend their money. All these people here, I'm gonna let them spend their money. They, of course, they st the crowd starts whittling down, then more people came in, right? And it was like, I don't know, I wanna say about 30, maybe 40 people there. It wasn't nearly as many as the one we went to before. And Grand Prix comes around, I start bidding on it, right? It gets up to like 800. This dude that's bidding on everything puts his hand up again, bro. And I'm like, bro, try me. And so this dude, like, bro, this. <laughs> Like, he was the type of dude, like, to where, like, he, you would bid, he would bid, right, 200. Then, then you know how the dealers be talking, like, the auction people, they be like, 29, 25, 350, 3, 350, 4, 450, right here, right here. And as soon as somebody up, put a hand of 350 on, like, a brand new car, basically, he'd be like, ah, and then just back out of the bed. I'm like, bro, you might as well finish it on through, since you want to ball today, you want to be a big shot, like... <laughs> So this dude constantly raising the price, right? We get to about a thousand, right? I'm like, nah, man, I don't even want it no more. Then my uncle was like, no, nah, keep going. This worth more than that. Keep going. So he gets up to 1,200. New backside of it. He's like, car is yours. I got the car. We go, and like, you gotta give like a $200 deposit down on it. And everybody was like, everybody while I was in the room signing the papers was like, bruh. You got a good deal in that car. This dude tried to buy it off me while I was signing the paper. Like, it was for real crazy. So yeah, man, I got the whip. Um, just got it back from the shop because like it needed a new sensor on it or whatever. Cause it cut off on me. It cut off, well, twice cause my uncle drove it. And then it cut off again on my way home. So luckily it wasn't nothing major. Got that mug fixed. And the engine sounds fine. It's a V6 Series 3, bro. Like, that's another thing I want to talk about. I'm thinking about doing vlogs. Now that I got the whip, like, everyday vlogs, bro. Like, if you guys think that would be a good idea, leave a comment below. Like the video, please. Thumbs up it. And, uh, yeah, bro. Like, that's basically all I want to talk about. Um, got to go to work today at 5. I hope they call me off, but... Whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all it is for the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and peace. This has been a T Lamar video.